real brief overview of the, the note card for her test. The distance formula is a big square root radical x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared midpoint. You add up the x values, divide by 2, add up the y values, divide by 2. Your answer will be a coordinate. Your answer will be a coordinate of an x value and a y value. For circles, it's opposite, opposite to find the center. So if you have x minus 5 and y plus k, it's going to be opposite, opposite. So it'd be uh, if it was x minus h, y minus k, it's going to be the opposite of minus h, which is positive h. It's going to be opposite of negative k, which is positive k. It's not the same. Um, if they give you a radical and they want to find the domain, whatever's underneath the radical, you set greater than or equal to zero. Um, and, and then I do a little number line to make sure. Slope formula, change in y over change in x. <clears throat> if the y values are the same, then the slope is zero. If the x values are the same, then the slope is undefined. General form of a circle to find the center. So they give you this long drawn out thing. And all you do is take that middle X term and divide it by negative two. So if that were like an eight there, eight divided by negative two, the center, eight divided by, it would be negative four. So it would have a negative four there. B divided by negative two, whatever's in front of that Y term, not Y squared, Y term. You divide that by negative two. Um, Vux Hoy, if they say, what's the slope of a vertical line? It is undefined. If they ask you what the slope of a horizontal line is, the slope is zero. If they ask you what the slope of y equals 17 is, that's a horizontal line. The slope is zero. You got slope guy here, slope man, slope dude, increasing, decreasing. So that's a positive slope. That's a negative slope. A constant slope is a horizontal line. A vertical slope is undefined. If you are good with standard form, you are going to be very successful in this class. So if they give you standard form, AX plus BY equals C, you can find the slope immediately by taking the opposite of A and dumping it over whatever B is. Perpendicular slope is a negative reciprocal of that, so it's just going to be B over A. The Y-intercept, you cover up the AX term. And you do C divided by B. Uh, I went over the circles. Also, for the parabola, the parabola is in opposite, opposite. It's opposite same. So if I give you Y equals some value A, times x minus h squared plus k, the vertex is going to be at opposite same. So, for example, y equals 2 parentheses x plus 4 squared plus 7. The vertex would be at negative 4, positive 7. If I were to give you a circle in center radius form, x plus 4 squared plus y minus 7 squared equals 9. The center would be at opposite opposite. So parabolas, it's opposite same. For circles, it's opposite, opposite. And the radius would equal the square root of 9, which is 3.